The oceans have always held secrets, and today they hold even more, with 98% of the world's international internet traffic traveling under the sea. Deep down on the ocean bed, our information is passed in real time through a vast submarine network of cables that stretch across the globe. Google has invested and partnered in building many of these essential cables that connect our world, and has now built Curie, a brand new cable for Chile. Named after the scientist Marie Curie, Google's second privately owned submarine link runs between Valparaiso, Chile and Redondo Beach, California, USA. Stretching 10,500 kilometers, Curie is Chile's first new subsea cable in 19 years. With fiber optics delivering 72 terabits per second, that's 3,000 HD movies, Curie is Chile's largest individual data link, providing a much needed bandwidth upgrade for South America. Deploying the cable was a huge logistical effort, costing Google $47 billion. For Chile, the benefits are huge. Improved telecommunications infrastructure and the global connectivity to support its mining, tourism and other industries with no installation costs. With Chile not owning the cable, skeptics have voiced concern over future costs of using the Google-owned infrastructure. For Google, however, owning Curie presents significant opportunities. Curie's historic implementation was made possible by Google's undersea data transport partnership with Subcom, which engineered, manufactured and installed the Curie system ahead of schedule. Submarine cables provide the backbone for connectivity to most of the developed world, and with no adverse environmental effect, many more are on the horizon. Google has already announced three further intercontinental installations, Dunant, Equiano and Grace Hopper, which will extend their services with increased bandwidth and secure infrastructure. All three are due by 2022, connecting our world more than ever before.